Hey everyone, this is Jess, aka DJ Play Play. I'm with Building Beats. We are a nonprofit organization that aims to provide music education for all. Um, we can be found at buildingbeats.org or at Building Beats on all social media. Uh, so let's get started today. What we're going to do is dig into Soundtraps Patterns Beatmaker, um, which is a drum sequencer. So first we'll enter studio, head to music. Uh, there's two ways to actually get to this. The first way you can go add new track and go straight to drum in machines. But what we'll do is actually the second way, which is just to click on Patterns Beatmaker here in the center. This pulls out this box right here. And the first thing I want to do is establish where I'm looping from. Now notice what happens when I take it down to one bar. Um, so right now what you're seeing is two bars, one, two. I want to actually go just to one bar for the moment. So I'm going to drag this looper right here to one bar. Then I'm going to click it to enable it. There you go. So you just saw the second bar disappear. Now let's just start, you know, it's going to start looping so we can start playing around with the beat. Um, I'm going to change my tempo. I'm kind of going for more of a hip hop style beat today. So I'm going to go to like 100 BPM to start with. And BPM is beats per minute, uh, so that's the tempo. Um, I'm going to change my metronome to a clave. It's just, like, easier, right? So, okay. And then I'm just going to, I'm not even going to worry about what kind of sound it is yet. I want to lay down the pattern first. Um, so I'm going to start with a kick on the one and a snare on the three and see what we've got. Okay, I like that for now. Uh, so what I'm actually gonna do is click over here where it says Machines Tasty. And as this is playing, I'm gonna audition other types of drum kit sound. There we go. I like that one. Now I can get rid of the metronome because I have my rhythm established. Maybe I want to add like something else. So you can click on add. Maybe I want to open it up. Maybe one other thing. Not a crash though. All right, we'll start with that. So that's how you can add other drums. Um, so you can add everything from a low tom, high tom, mid tom, to crashes, snares, rim shots, hi-hats, all kinds of things. Depends on the kit too. Um, but I've got attitude on right here. Um, so yeah, you can also pan your uh, drums. You can add reverb, which is uh, kind of like sound. So watch what happens if I do that. I usually only add reverb to things like snares and hi-hats. Um, it's really potent on a snare. So if you wanted to do that, you could actually duplicate this, click on it, and delete everything but the snare. So we're only going to add reverb to the snare. Everything else gets deleted. And then likewise, on the other track, I'm going to de delete just the snare. 
So you've got the snare only on this track, and then you've got everything but the snare on this track. And so over here, I'm actually going to go and add reverb to that snare. There we go. Yep, so the higher uh, you push it, the more, aka wet, the signal is. So basically the more reverb you're adding versus dry, which is like the regular signal without reverb. Um, so I'm gonna like be a little sparse with it, but let's see. There we go. So yeah, then what you can do is just drag this over and loop it. Uh, maybe I want to add, make the second bar a little different than the first. Uh, I'm going to hit edit and split region and then just do like a slight edit to the second one. Maybe I want to like add, uh, let's see, another snare, but maybe I'll do a dry snare this time. So let's try this. Okay, so you can just keep changing things around to split them. And you can add multiple drums on top of each other. Maybe you like the sound of a different drum, you can combine these. So I'll go into just this. I actually like the snare of this one better. So I'm gonna actually use the snare. Let's see, on the three. Yep. And actually, I want this to be on the other side. So I'm just going to move these around. So that second snare is only hitting on the second bar. So I've just layered the snare. Basically. You can play around with all kinds of stuff. Um, it's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, and then if you want to get really granular, you can play with the piano roll effects and instrument. We'll go over piano roll more when we go over melody. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. This is just aka Play Play with Building Beats. Peace.